What's up, everyone, and welcome back. This is episode six of the Road to SSL series, the series where I show you how I'd rank up as a top 0.1% Rocket League coach. This stream was my favorite so far. We were honestly making champ ones and champ twos look worse than some of the diamonds <laughs> in the last stream. I tried to mix it up and add one or two new mechanics in and increase the speed of play a little bit. So I'm hoping if you're watching champ one, champ two, this is going to be a masterclass for you guys. Let's just get started. Also, if you're new here, what's up? My name's Luke. I have over 3k hours in Rocket League, but mainly what I actually do is coach. If you're a returning viewer, you may know I run the Grand Champ roadmap, where we take people like you, plat through champ ranked, up to Grand Champ in just six weeks or less. But what you may not know, week after this video goes live, we're going to be making an announcement about one of our newest coaches. I have a feeling when this guy announces that he's coming on to coach with us, we're going to sell out in like two weeks. So if you want to get involved before that announcement goes live, DM me on Discord with the keyword six. So I know you came from this episode and we can talk details about coaching. Links down below. Otherwise, enjoy episode six, guys. All right, everybody, and welcome back. This is episode six. We're currently sitting top of champ one, champ two. So this video is going to be me climbing through champ one, champ two, hopefully commentate through, give you guys a sense of my thought process and show you how you can climb through champ. Let's jump into the games. It's time. All right, we're playing with dry dudes against Zumi is bad and relics. Um, since this is C1, I think uh, I'm going to be speed flipping in that. I think that's fair. But uh, yeah, we'll just jump, jump straight into the commentary. Oh. What just happened? All right, we got dry dude. I'm gonna go back left. I should have. I should have probably cheated up and calmed him. He looks like he's pressuring, so I'm just gonna shadow. Stay close here. He gets a weak hit, so I can kind of push it away. These guys look awkward. I'm just gonna force because I kind of have to, and then rotate back post. Ball comes high. No shot yet, so I'll play wide. No angle, so just control corner boost, and then we should have a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm gonna play this ball out to the left. That way, I can cut it back in. And that gives me a beat on one. Couldn't get the second, but almost got him. And my teammate just fully whiffs. Luckily, I'm quick enough to get back. Might be able to get a demo on one. Nice. And I'm going to stay close. Just play it around one guy. I have no boost, so I'll let my teammate go. Going to collect some small pads at half and try to stay as relevant as possible. He hits that really far away. Totally whiffs. And my teammate just hits it around me. I should have known better. <laughs> so I'll try to get back here. And, uh, no, it's all right. I, I, sh I should have known not to go because my teammate was already there, but uh, this is champ. So I'll have to expect stuff like that. I'm going to speed flip for these kickoffs. I'm not going to try to like, dominate the kickoffs. I'm really just going to try to get to him. Ball's going to come up the wall here. I'm going to see where he's at. See if I can't play the ball around him and got them. Surprising. Uh, ball's coming up. A lot of chaos. So I'm just going to wait back. Watch boom. He's going to boom to the side. I can grab corner boost, come back around, and then hit this ball on the up bounce. So that's going to give me the ability to carry it and kind of do an air dribble over him. Is that too mechanical? I tried to, like, stop air rolling halfway. The, the main thing is get that first bounce and then pop. Is that too mechanical? Okay, I, I tr I'll try not to do that again. Um, I'm, I will keep speed flipping, though, because I think speed flips are fair. I'm, try, I'm gonna try not to use too many too many mechs on the speed flips, but here ball's gonna bounce side. It looks like they're pressuring, so I'm just gonna go back and once again, most important thing, control corner boost. My teammate will have an easy shot if it's on net. Um, here, my teammate looks like he's gonna chase, so I'm just gonna wait back, make sure I'm behind him, and it pays off in a goal. A lot of people would challenge there, and like once, even though my teammate shouldn't be going there, I have a better angle, I have more boost. Because I see him going, you play back. And like, this is like a super common mistake. Even if your teammate is pushing up and you know they shouldn't be pushing up, you have to respect them. You have to play back. So ends up resulting in a goal. Good stuff. Ball's going to come up the wall. I think he's going to get side boost first. So I'm just going to go back, cover net. My teammate's behind me, so I want to force. And that should give my teammate a pretty free save. Um, looks like he's going for this ball, so I'm going to wait back. And he, he hits it a little too hard, so I know I can challenge. This guy's just pre-jumping like no other. Um, no threat, so I'll just go back, rotate along the pads, and play along the middle here. Once again, my teammate looks like he's going, so I'm just going to wait back, wait until something happens, and free goal. And here's why, like, so so you're watching this, and you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, champ ones are terrible. The games I play in, you know, my, uh, my t the players I play are so, so much better. Just simply, it's like, no, just simply waiting back 
and watching people, you'll realize how silly they are. But the problem is most champs there would push up and they'd get lost in that mix. Just by playing back and being the only one who's not literally sitting on top of the ball at all times, it the game becomes free. I'll hit the ball off the wall here. Um, try to get some direction changes going. Get some movement left and right. Um, and that's going to allow, allow me to get a beat on one. Here, he pushes the ball into my corner. So I'm just going to pick up boost. Turn, watch net. Make sure I'm there at all times. I'm getting a good beat. Now, this ball's going up the wall. If you're mechanically strong, you can kind of get... Like, you, like I could air dribble that in, but I'm going to assume you can't. So I'm just going to hit it slowly. Keep the ball... Keep, keep the play going slow in the corner. And then look for a demo in the center. Oftentimes, I'm just looking for safe 50s in the corner, and that's going to work out well. Cheat up here. Uh, we get a great 50, so I can play side boost and get it. Oh, I thought that was going to be a demo. I was going to say get a free demo, but no. Hit the ball up and just make sure I'm rotating back. It looks like he might go, so I'm just going to turn back. There's absolutely no threat. Like, even if he hits it, if he doesn't hit it, there's no threat. So I'm just going to keep controlling boost, keep playing back here. I don't want to challenge as well. I'm just forcing. I'm just looking like I'm going, so my teammate gets a free ball. Um, now I'll play half once again. No point in challenging. I'm just literally trying to get this ball to the side, to the corner, somewhere safe for my team. And that will literally just create a free goal. Just by, like, putting the ball in safe places and having a boost advantage, like, people make mistakes. Uh, all right. Well, we'll go for this. And he says actual rank. Am I playing that good? I feel like I'm not playing that good his actual rank i don't know uh here i'm just gonna wait wait for the corner get get a safe 50 50 and look for a demo as i move through rotate back around pad 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 back post so they can't score this guy may contest so i'm just gonna get a low 50 play it safe and that'll keep us kind of in a safe position back here here it looks like he's not really doing much so i can kind of get in his way look for demos drive around i gotta collect pads Keep the ball in the corner here. Keep it safe. Boost should respawn soon. So I'm just going to move around. Stay by my teammate. Keep collecting these center pads. And soon enough, I'll be full boost. He looks like he's going to boom there. So I'll just stay back. Keep collecting pads. Keep collecting pads. And wait for this play to develop. Because there's really no threat here at any point. And if, if, if people can't get it out of your corner, you should just continue the waiting game. Like, no need to pressure them. These guys hit it over. And once again, my teammate's way up, so I'm just going to buy time. I'm literally just going to sit back here, let them contest, let them throw the ball in my corner, and buy time. There's, like, no threat here whatsoever. And it'll just lead to three goals. Um, that was a little mechanical. I kind of, you kind of have to be able to get that read there. I was very confident I could get that read. That game was kind of long, long, long in the bin just from good game sense. So we'll wrap up game one. So jumping into game two, we are actually 1096. So that's the rank. We got four more placements to go. All right. So I, I feel like I could speed flip. We're playing with TTV Chuck. We got a Twitch streamer against, uh, I don't know how to say that, and Zor. So yeah, we're going to cheat up, do like a kind of a half cheat here, pick up side boost, and then move forward. Ball's going to go into the corner. Most important thing, control corner boost, turn back, and just wait here. Control this ball. Stay behind it at all times. Keep our team relatively safe. I'm going to play back here, flip, flip to the side, and should have pretty much an open. And once again, like if you just play safe in your corner, like people just overcommit so hard in champ. Like, and then you give your teammate a one-on-one, -on -one and one good thing happens... Boom, you're clear. I'm not going to calm that I'm losing kickoffs or anything like that. I'm just going to do simple kickoffs. I actually tried to win that, but I went perfectly. So that'll work. I'll play side here. My teammates pushed up. So once again, I'm just I'm just going to kind of shadow here. Play back. I get one first touch up. And now I can kind of go for a air dribble. I was using probably a little too much air roll there. Good thing he saved it. But um, the, the key is they're just timing the up bounce. I'll wait back here. Once again, my teammates up. So... He got side boost, so now I can go. And I'm just going to try to get in the way and kind of slow things down. Do a, do a little back turn just to buy more time. And going to wait here to get a cut to the side. Wait to get a cut to the side. And a little shot. Almost works. Teammate misses the open, but it is what it is. It wasn't super easy. Oh, he just hits it right to me. Oh, am I, am I lagging? I don't know. Lagging a little bit. Anyways, I'm going to try to rotate back out along the path because I need boost. I can get a simple jump here. 
I if you if you're a little faster, you could probably just score that. But mostly, I'm just trying to beat him, get any sort of little beat. Um, oh, he's gonna hit it back, so I'm gonna have to power slide and get clear. I'm lagging a little bit, so sorry if I had to use max there. Spawn on the ball. That's that's nice. Thank you, Rocket League. And now I'll wait back here. This is a little bit awkward, so I'm just gonna let him go. Here I'm just turning over. That was a little mechanical, but basically what I did is I just flipped my car over while backwards to so I have a flip and I can potentially challenge if I need to. Teammate tosses ball to him in front of net. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Here I'm just watching him. Wait, wait, wait. Hit it high. Hit it over one. And get a 50 on the other. Hit it over one, get a 50 on the other. Basically always net positive. So here I'm going to rotate around. Bang ball off wall. Get it past one at least. And now kind of just wait. There's a lot of chaos here. I don't want to challenge. Don't want to challenge. A lot of chaos here. Wait nope. for my teammate. He unfortunately gets a pretty weak hit. So it is what it is. Going to keep the ball wide there. And get an amazing save. That's, that, that is really just basic. You want to practice those like down in bronze. <laughs> and I missed the open. <laughs> and my teammate's missing. <laughs> my god what is going on <laughs> what is going on anyways back to reality um we're gonna play back post here and <laughs> i don't even know what just happened wait center for a pass that will never come he looks like he's going so i'll just turn back cover net watch how i hit this into the corner so that way i can track down my boost look like i'm gonna go for the ball but really i'm in no rush let him challenge pop it over him get a 50 on one and my teammate has a complete open but he's pushed up too far and he misses the aerial Classic. So I'll go back, control our boost again, and let my teammate do his thing. Teammate centers. I can't be there quite in time, so I'm just gonna grab his corner boost and oh, I got a demo. Well, that's nice. <laughs> so I actually knew he was gonna be there. Stop um, the cap. You know. And then you get a forfeit. <laughs> Somebody tell Cheech that I was being sarcastic. Love you, Cheech. <laughs> there we go. Jumping into game three, we got Mag Cal, Tim, and against Tim Perk and Inspector David. All right, let's get it. I'll cheat up. Getting a little bit of lag, so this will be an experiment. He's going to get boost. I'll go back. Uh, teammate takes boost, so that means I'm just going to focus on being the guy who forces. And here I'm just being a body, not committing. Doing the best I can to just force and play back. Cover back post here. Kind of watch shot. Um, looks like he's going to have, so I'll just stay behind. Wait if there's like a 50-50. And man, I am lagging bad. But my teammate's goaded. All right, I'll cheat up here. He's going for like a half fake. All right, I'll just hit this up and then go for a shot. What is going on? Did this guy quit? Or wait, is Tim Perp back? back? No, he's back. What? I'm confused. Anyways, I'll hit it off the side. Let him go. I'm going to go for a basic champ air dribble with zero air roll. I feel like that's pretty fair. Here, I should have time, so I'm going to go wide. Grab, grab boost. He's going to hit it off the wall. That'll bounce right back to me. I'm going to make one touch out to the left, and then I can cut this in hard. And they just both commit. And see, this is the thing. Here's the thing. Let me say something, chat. Everybody's like, oh, the guys you play are so much worse than the guys I play. No, it's just you're like most people just make their first touches in a straight line. When you just hit the ball at an angle, you can just do the most basic stuff and just like cross up like literally everybody in one power slide cut. It's amazing. I'm going to demo this guy. Is that in? Almost. Here, since I'm in front of the ball, since I was watching the play, I'm just going to actually take it back to my corner. Um, and that'll that'll basically cover our bases pretty well. Wait back here in case he misses. My teammate's actually really good, so this is just unfair. <laughs> We're just going to crush this game. I'm speed flipping, but I'm not really dominating these kickoffs too bad. I'll grab half boost, and it, it looks like he's going, so I'll, I'll kind of force like I'm going just to get ball out and then... Make sure I don't commit, so I'm always back post and ready. Here, I'm going to time this up bounce, and then I can fly after this. I can get one more pop, and then I can actually look for a demo or maybe get a touch over him. If you have better air roll control there, you can do a lot of things. But once you get that first good touch, 
and you're set. Notice how I hit the ball to my corner and I just, I, I like, I, I'm not scared of taking the ball to my corner, um, especially if it's already on its way there. Like it's better than letting them have the ball and then, you know, potentially taking it to the center. Once again, just like let him commit because like none of these touches are threatening. Like just continue to hit the ball to me and let me control, control my boost and control my corner. It's completely, it's completely good for me. Get one touch up, one more. You pass it off to my teammate, maybe. No. Had to use a little bit of max there. But we should be fine. Here he's redirecting it for no reason. Sweet. Double commit for no reason. So I'm actually going to rush this. And we're going to call that lag. And we should be fine here. Turn off ball cam so that way I can see the ball well. And I'm actually going to push forward here just because I see my teammate has possession of it. Uh, waiting back here. There's a lot of awkwardness in this corner. Too many bodies. I don't know what's happening. Wait till I see what's happening, and even then, I don't. I try not to commit. Shouldn't have an angle or anything like that. Unless he said, "I'm so sorry." All goods. I'm gonna come to him that I'm actually going. Uh, oh wait, no. It's my command says on your left. It's it's binded the wrong way. Okay, since this guy tosses ball, I'm just going to fly really quickly and get a beat. I can make a better touch there, but I'm just focused on getting the beat, right? Once he touches ball. Teammate looks like he's going to pass it to me, so I'll, I'll make the first touch. And am I even outplaying these guys? Like, like okay, so I make the touch to the right because you want to get it like out to your side. And then I see the other guy like just drive challenging. So I just kind of get a semi good touch. Champ one defense has got to be some of the most suspicious like, and see, this is what I'm saying. Like, nobody practices defense at all. So if you just do, like, basic cuts, like, it will usually beat these defenders. Did I outplay my teammate there? I don't think I did. Eh, well, I'll just take the ball to the corner. Let him chow, let him chow. Get a good 50-50. And now we have a one-on-one. -on -one. Get one touch up. One touch forward. And my teammate would have scored if he wasn't pushed up so far. Gonna get one touch up, and now I'm gonna be heinous. Get over here. <laughs> okay, at this point I'm just memeing. These guys that we got placed against are suspicious. Well, I feel like this. Okay, we lost a game in Champ One, and now I'm kind of using a little more mechanics, and we're just slaughtering people. So. Oh, hopefully, regardless of whether or not that was a little bit lopsided, hopefully that was helpful. That was champ one. We are probably on the brink of C2, so we'll wrap it up there. Yo, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you made it to this point, I appreciate you. You're a real one. And if you want to catch more of this stuff when I record it live, definitely hit me with a follow over on twitch.tv slash spookluke. I also post every time I'm going live because I don't have a stream schedule over on my Instagram. It's just one word, spooklukegram. Definitely go hit me with follows there if you want to be engaged with the content in real time or talk to me. Love seeing people from the YouTube there. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in episode seven. Peace, peace.